Welcome to the vlog. All right, we are on our way Hello. to the markets this morning. I think they're open. So when, when, when I'm filming this, we're actually still in lockdown. If any of you have seen it, there was a vlog that I uploaded a few months ago where I was talking about how I was struggling to feel motivated with training because with the lockdown and how our gym stuff is set up, we have it outdoors. Like, yeah, there's a roof overhead, but it gets cold. You can attest to this dude. It gets so rainy. It just um, can be pretty miserable. And one thing that I really recognize is that you can't rely on anything for our motivation at the end of the day. Like so many times when life is normal, it's like, oh, you know, the gym's always gonna be open. It's fine, I'll be able to go there and do my workout. Or you think you'll, you know, be able to make the food that you wanna make in the order that you wanna make it until supermarkets run out of food. Like. We saw that, that so right? so annoying. So over the last few months, I've really had to use these moments and opportunities to sort of reevaluate what are my priorities, uh, what motivates me, where am I trying to go with this, and readjust my trajectory. You really have to create your own motivation. And I'm talking about more than just like exercise and health and fitness. So throughout the day today, I wanted to share three really big lessons with you that I've learned over the last few months of how to actually create this motivation for yourself and not rely on anything else for it. I want to hang around till the third tip because I have something really cool for you. First, let's actually get to the markets, get through these crazy drivers, um, <laughs> pick up some of the food we need. Uh, do you have any honeycomb at all? The actual honeycomb. Oh. Thanks. Thank you, you too. Hi, yeah, can I just get two of the baguettes, please? Uh, yeah. Sourdough one or the plain one? Um, sourdough would be good. Have you ever tried to change a habit or work on something, whether it's like exercising more or changing the foods you eat or maybe like reinvigorating like a study routine or whatever it might be only for that habit to be so easily replaced by something that's a lot more enjoyable right now i can't remember what i was watching but a psychologist a psychologist i was listening to was saying that people tend to change their beliefs towards the most desirable options so you know changing their opinion based on what feels better or sounds better i don't know if you've ever fallen into the trap before where you're like oh i have to exercise today or i have to eat like this because i have this event on this certain day but i've always felt and i say this to my clients too that that kind of language really limits how enjoyable that activity becomes warnings and negative feedback and things aren't really enough to satisfy that behavior change for like a really long period of time. Like one example is people who are quitting smoking, saying, you know, smoking's bad for you, isn't always enough to scare people off it because most people know, you know, smoking's not great for your long-term health. And I think that's particularly true if you haven't experienced any bad side effects from them. Because positive information makes us feel good, uh, we tend to look for it a little bit more, which means that the negative information, like the warning or the scary side of something, um, we tend to push that to the back of our minds a little bit. And I feel like, you know, if you're here on my channel, you're probably someone who wants to be happy and healthy and pay attention to not only like your physical health, but also your mental health your emotional health, like all of these kinds of things. But sometimes the future can feel like it's a really, really far way away. And so using a long-term motivator, particularly like with how the last two years has been, long-term motivators aren't always gonna be the best because sometimes the, the future can look so uncertain, you know? And I don't think it's irrational at all. You're choosing a surefire quick win now. So then I think it's worth thinking about, well, what can we do to reward the action and the behavior now? Particularly if it's a habit that you're trying to build or whatever it might be because then the behavior that you want becomes associated with a reward and then it starts to become a habit because we know we're going to get that thing or we're going to feel good afterwards the first step is asking yourself asking myself asking yourself um, what's something you can do now that will make you feel good about what it is that you're trying to do now is it just me or do they look like the kind of tomatoes you would see in a medieval painting Style my hair properly yesterday. 
I did like a real lazy blue wave. Anyway, um, it's 10.45. I'm a little bit stressed because I'm meant to be meeting Darren and Erin at the park at one o'clock. I need to make three recipes. Under normal circumstances, that's not that bad. But when you're filming something, it makes it take like triple the length of time. So you might be wondering, why are you sitting here procrastinating? I'm not, I'm waiting for some chicken to cook. While I have a moment, I wanted to talk about my next point, which is tracking your progress because it's always so much better to track your progress than it is to track the decline. Because because I feel that mentally, if we're trying to observe and track habits, we tend to notice when we fall off track or when we don't do as good of a job. I think I mentioned in my last vlog, which was a few weeks ago now, I started a no spend challenge. I'm an absolute to-do list fiend. I love having a checklist. I love knowing what's coming up next, what I'm doing. And so if you are similar in that regard, you might find a visual tracker very helpful like I do. Because not only does it give you that little bit of a reward when you tick it off, but it also gives you just like a visual update on how you're going. On top of that, I think tracking and charting progress, particularly just when you're trying to build something new, gives you a sense of agency and control over your own like life and future, I guess. That might sound a little bit bigger than it is, but I think it's important to feel like we have some sense of direction. You know, you might listen to someone speak or you might watch something, you might read something which fires you up for like a minute, an hour, whatever, but that tends to fade away. So I think it's important to find things and put them in place which continuously keep us checking in, particularly while we're trying to build something new. For a wobbly, I talk with my hands too much. Really excited for this picnic, but um, I'm stressed. I won't get everything made in time. Squarespace for partnering with me on today's video. They're an all-in-one website building platform and they're the host which I've used to actually put together both my health and fitness blog, Eat Run Lift, and my personal journal. It's such an easy to use platform which gives you the simplest way to showcase your brand, band, portfolio, resume, business, whatever it is that you want to share. They have an incredible 24-7 customer support service team and simple templates which are as easy as scrolling through their gallery, selecting the ones you like, and then adding in your branding like your colors and fonts. It simplifies the whole process so that the back end of running the business doesn't have to be such a headache so when it comes to things like building out your SEO, having accurate analytics so you know where to put more of your effort and your energy so you're not wasting time just publishing content, you know exactly what people come to your site to see. You can start a free trial with Squarespace today and experience exactly why they're my choice of host. And when you're ready to publish your site, use the link that I've left on the screen or in the description box, and that's gonna take 10% off your first purchase. That was actually the first time I've been able to see Erin and Darren face to face in months, like since before this last lockdown. And this brings me to my third point, which is social engagement. And although friends and family and having supportive people around you can't create the motivation for you, you know, having a positive community of people around around you is so beneficial for so many more ways than just motivation. I thought something fun we could do would be to actually do this together. For 21 days we're going to level up together with my mini course that I've created called Evolution. It doesn't need to be health based, doesn't need to be fitness based, that's what I'm going to put my goals on but you can pick whatever you want. I actually started building this out as a course which is going to have guided meditations, it's going to have journal prompts and it's going to be a little bit of content each day for 21 days. But if you join my member site, which I did actually finally decide to create, there's a form in there and I'm actually going to create a thread all about the 21 day level up. I created the member site to be kind of like a Patreon style thing for my channel. I called it more and it's meant to be like a joke because my book is called Bless. So I thought let's just call this more. And it's an exclusive membership site where every single month I'm going to be uploading one to two videos on there. They're going to be completely ad free, completely sponsorship free. And I'm going to be covering a whole host of different topics. I'm also going to be uploading exclusive recipes on there and I've built in a forum so we can have our own private community on there too. So I thought that 
that we could do these 21 days together. I was thinking of starting it on November 8th so that we can do it for the end chunk of November and really finish this year strong. Plus you can use the course evolution to level up on whatever it is that you want to evolve. Like quitting a bad habit, improving your organization, whatever it is that sparks your interest. If you join the new membership site between now and November 7th, which is the day before I'll start the challenge, I'll give you access to it for free. It's designed to help you level up and create the lifestyle that you want. And I'm so excited to go through it with you guys, particularly if you wanna come and join me over on the membership site. I don't think I'm making the course available to public until January. So it's definitely like an early access thing. I know in our day-to-day -day life, we don't always have people around who have the exact same goals as us or are on the exact same path in life as us. So it would be cool if we could like collaboratively do this together. Now don't doubt yourself, you absolutely can create your own motivation and I wish you all the best with whatever it is that you're working towards. I'll catch you next time.